What up, guys? It's your boy, Legendary Rhyme Gamer here. Today, I'm going to show you how to beat the Zaltawa Shrine. And, um, well, the easiest way to find it is after you get off Ridgeland Tower. You talk to that little nerd who's trying to investigate how to fly and stuff, and you just you fly right in front of him. You go down the canyon, you'll find it. It's right there. It's kind of hidden away, but, uh, yeah, it shouldn't be too hard to find. Today I'm rocking the bandana and uh, lightning spear that you get from those Liz flows. Or like chameleon flows. I forget what they're called. Anyway, so what you first want to do, you just kind of walk in and then you, you know, it's the same old schnick. Where you go in and then the person's like, hey, I got a thing for you to do. And you're like, okay, just give me your money, you know. And then um, two orbs to guide you. Okay, should be simple enough. It's probably just like you drop an orb in the golf hole and then you throw another orb in the golf hole. So let's see, you got a button over here, you step on that. And it looks like, yeah, there's the golf hole right there. So we just need to find the orb. And then we got a little switch thing. Oh, there's the orb, it's up there. So you're supposed to knock it into that or something. So if you hit the. Oh, okay, it moves that up. This should be pretty easy, so... I think it gives you the momentum, yeah. I think, oh, then you can fly into there, yeah, sure. That's pretty straightforward. Let's see here. Maybe the other orb's in there somewhere? Let's see... My lesser weapons, because I don't want to waste my nice little spear on hitting a button over and over. Okay, so you just kind of hit it. You just hit it, and you fly up, and then you fly into the... Um, I'm sure I can get this. I just got to keep hitting the button a bit. I mean, I think that's all you can do. It's not like there's a treasure chest around. No, there's nothing back here. Nope. It's just kind of a thing walking around. If I hold this down, is there an orb in there? Let's see. Let's see. Uh, yeah, I think I just got to do this over and over again until I get it. It's pretty much the only logical step. All right. Let's see here. Uh, I guess I want to... Uh, can I freeze? No. What would that do anyway? Um, let's see. I can position myself correctly, I could probably fly right in there because I get really close. I'm like running on the wall. Probably could exploit that glitch, run out the whole thing. Let's see here. And... Okay, just keep trying. One, two, three! Oh. Bitch. Oh. Ugh. <sighs> see. What the? All right. No, come on. One, two, three. No. Um. One, two, three. You know, I mean, it just hitting the switch. Maybe I gotta be running and hit the switch? Can I do that? Uh, wow, Miyamoto really outdid himself with this one. Come on, I'm so close! You just grabbed the edge! Ah! Oh, come on! I'll do it. Don't make me not do it, because I'll do it. And... Is there like an orb around here or some shit? I mean like a different orb? I mean, I got two golf ball holes to hit the orb in. And, um... Well... I mean... I mean, come on, I gotta hit an orb in and 
Hit it in the pole, and then... The, then the thing. I mean, that door needs to open a bit. That door has the second orb in it, so if I could get upwards... I could probably... I really grab my gears, man. Man, I'm so close. What am I missing? What am I missing? Come on, just right there, you know? It's just right there. You just got. Come on. I can get a running leap. Give me enough momentum to fly right in. I wonder if there's like an upgrade to the paraglider that I need before I could beat this. It's kind of lame that, you know, Miyamoto didn't include every, you know. Like, you should have everything you need inside the dungeon. You shouldn't have to put together extraneous external weapons items to beat a dungeon. I mean, that's not really how Zelda works. Fuck. Blow that up. I, like, may use that. Oh, it does. It activates the switch. Oh, okay. So if I'm running and then I use the bomb to activate it, I can't lose. I think. I set it in the right spot. I think it was right there. Let's see. Is that close enough? I think so. Probably just hit it. I don't want to get hit myself. Okay, that was not close enough. Hmm. Maybe that's close enough. And a one, two. Let's give it, give it. Hmm. That should have worked. That should have worked. No reason for it to not work. I mean, I spent so much time. I mean, Jesus. Son of a... So close, so far, so close, so far. Why? Man, I can't believe you can't grab on the ledge there. How come? Man, what's wrong with this game? What is wrong with this game? Oh, you know what? Fuck it. Maybe I can just throw the ball there first from... I 
don't get it. I can clearly stop the switch, but what does that even do? What's the fucking point? What is the point of living? Ah. Okay. Maybe I can knock it in that hole or something? Maybe I should have done this in the first place? See if a bomb can get it or something. Nope. That's fucking useless. What in the hell? Ah. Way to go. Oh, shoot. Oh. Weird. I wonder what would have happened if it died. Okay, anyway, maybe I can throw it in the golf ball over here. And let's see what happens. Hole in one, motherfucker. So that means if I throw it over here. Yep. Oh. I get it, Miyamoto, you son of a Japanese fuck. You gotta move the thing towards you, I see. I understand. Huh. Well. What other challenges are we... Okay, that's it. Okay, well. Yeah, I mean, that was pretty easy. I mean, it didn't take too much. You just gotta throw two balls around. Just like the title says, two orbs for all. And then you get your little spirit stone and you move on. Uh, well, yeah. Pretty easy. Anyway, that's just how you do that one. Um... Please don't forget to subscribe to the video and then maybe I can show you more hints about how to do Zelda Breath of the Wild. See you guys around the YouTubes. Ah, see you later.